Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. What we're displaying today for your enjoyment is my Bender mailbox that I made. So I've made some electronics to go inside the mailbox to play a sound when you get an envelope in the mailbox. Uh, that link, uh, that video is also on my channel, so if you'd like to check that out, please do. But this is just about the mailbox. So the body, the rain shield here, and the head is all made from a 55-gallon blue plastic drum. Uh, it's about 4 millimeter plastic or something like that, so 3 16th-ish. And uh, you just heat it up with a heat gun and you can bend it fairly easily to whatever shape you like. Uh, I picked up the uh, drum for nothing, so bend is basically free. Inside the door, I worked out where I wanted the door to be and I glued, uh, I had to shape some pieces of wood to the curve, top and bottom and the sides. I glued them together and I screwed them inside and out of where I wanted the cut to be. So once I put the cut through for the door, it would maintain the shape. You can see some of the timber frame there and possibly some on the inside here. So uh, we've got some hinges on that side. We've got a lock on this side and that completes the door. Um, the legs and the arms are 50 millimeter PVC. Just heat that up with a heat gun and you can bend them around a little bit. To get a better angle here, I've got a 15 millimeter join there, a 45 millimeter joiner there, and the top is a 90 to 50 millimeter reducer with a 90 millimeter cap. Same on the other side, and the shoulders are also two of those that I've ground to fit around the shape of the body and cut down on this side so it's nice and neat. How I've fixed the arms and the legs to the body is I've cut through the pipe like so, and I've heated those flaps up and bent them out, and then those are prop riveted to the side and prop riveted to the bottom. The base here is another piece of wood. This here is a few pieces of wood that I've just glued together and turned on the lathe to uh, basically be Bender's neck, the transition from the body to the head, and the same up here. This is a piece of wood that I've turned on the lathe to fit the top of his head. Uh, the top piece here is just a small piece of, I think, 16 millimeter um, conduit that I've glued on the top. The eye socket here is a piece of wood that I um, made into an oval shape, and then I heated up the plastic and clamped it around the wood until it cooled down. And I've also got a join on the inside here that I've pop riveted on to hold that shape. The eyes are just two small foam balls that I picked up from the cheap shop, cut them in half, glued them on and painted them white. Uh, we've still got some painting around the eye socket, some painting rings around the arms and the legs and paint the mouth in properly. And basically, Bender will be ready to go out. So I've made a video of how to do this body shape. So you can just make Bender as straight sides, but that looks a bit boring. If you want the sides to be tapered, uh, if you follow that video that I've put on, that I will put on, that will show you how to lay out a cone shape onto a flat piece of tin, plastic, whatever. And then once you cut it out and roll it up, it will make the shape that you want. So check that video out. Also, if you want to, check the video out of the electronics. It's all going to go inside the door here. And um, there it is. So this up here is just a piece of 90 by 20 pine that I've joined together up the top. I've got some, I think, 75 millimeter letters that will spell out unbendable. And you'll see that on the attached file that has all the measurements on it. So there it is. Um, hopefully that explains everything properly. And if you've got any questions, please leave a comment. And also, if this is something that you'd like to see a bit more of, consider liking and subscribing. And I will see you on the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.